morning. See what I think here. This in this box is uh, super sculpty. <laughs> and uh, what is this? Uh, thermo activated clay. So when you uh, heat it, it dries and bakes and hardens. And um, it's a translucent pinky colour, you can see. And I am going to do some tile work. Um, again, I do this kind of stuff. And I've been doing this kind of stuff since I was 10. Maybe further back with plasticine and stuff. Uh, and making tiles and other stuff when I was younger. Having said that, <laughs> I shake like a leaf. <laughs> oh God, I'll try and <laughs> make something. Um, the engraving was all right because <laughs> the engraver shakes, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. But it's nice to visit old skills. And uh, this is one of them. And this is what I'm gonna do. Now, Ron from Fox Company Prepping asked me if I did foxes. Well, this is a fox. Look at all these still. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> laughing makes it worse. But um, uh, yeah, well, this is a fox, and um, I'm going to make a tile and put this fox on the tile. Transfer it all over and set again. Like I said with the engraving, if you watch the engraving video, I did. The hair on this all has to lay the right way or it looks odd. So when I've uh, laid it all out, I'll be back. Now as you can see in front of me, it turns out that this clay comes in sections. Four of them. Tile-like sections, which is angry. And I'm going to snap off another piece of this because I'm doing a bit of figuring as I'm going along and I think that's about the size of the tile maybe a little bit more that I want so, and this snaps quite quite easy so that's about the right size of the tile to fit the thing when it's spread out a little bit more or it will uh, and it's about the right size it's made up of a tile obviously I'll smooth it out and mould it first and make it malleable but you can see it's about the same size a little bit of jiggery pokery and that should fit quite nicely on that tile so. right. now underneath this you can see I'll bring it back this the clay let's transfer the image from this bit of paper onto the clay all you need to do is take your tool the rounded pointed end it's quite rounded these tools as you can see and they're very cheap these tools I have some wooden ones I've had for years but these are my sons and I find they're better for working this synthetic clay than the wooden ones because the wooden ones tend to stain with it but this doesn't and they're actually cake making uh, to cake decorators tools for working sugar so they're good for sticky stuff and this stuff it seems to be a little bit more sticky than clay is so and plasticine and uh, it's a sort of learning curve with myself here because um, I, as I say I've never used tools like this I've just put my wooden ones away because I was not happy with them and these are quite good so I'm going to transfer the image and then show you Now, as you can see, the fox is, I can get you to focus, just scratched in to the clay. And I'm about to build it up and work within the parameters of the scratching. 
and then that will make it easy for me to work within the parameters of the drawing because they're exactly the same and uh, uh, here is how far I've got at building the fox and you do build it and work it in and build it some more and work it in and build it some more until it's all one par but you can see the tail there and the part of the hind quarters and you can see lined out there the head itself and in a short time I'll show you the next piece and the haunches the towel the leg and the cheek have all been added and textured and the next thing to be added to this is the head which fits in there like so now bearing in mind this is tile work it's a lot different to building a frame and everything else so what you're actually trying to do is add a 3d effect to a, a, a flat and build up so that everything on it is contoured and has structure and it looks very effective when it's done so therefore the head and everything else I can size at end by the drawing and fit afterwards and add any height for texture or depth to it later so, and it, it's a very nice um, concept and this uh, clay although I've, I've never used synthetic um, drying clay before um, I've heard about it and a friend of mine a young lady she swears by it but I've I'm old school but I'm willing to adapt when it comes to this sort of thing and uh, we'll see how it comes out in the end and you'll be able to judge because I'll take some still shots from it as well so Now this is the back of the head and I'm going to score this and score that area there and fit it on and come back. Well, I hope you can see the fox and there's obviously a lot more work to, to do on it but that is the way that the sleeping fox looks and uh, I'm really pleased with the way it's come out I'll give you a quick turn round of it and give you a look down at the top and a look round at the back and the ears and the drape of the neck going down um, the tile itself has got to be um, decorated and finished and then it's all got to be tidied up and hardened off because this stuff is um, thermo activated so you put it in a, a warm oven on a very low mark for about an hour and it will dry and there we are and it will be like glass so they tell me and it's quite translucent this stuff as well so we'll um, uh, We'll be giving it some work then because you can sort of file it and carve it and do all sorts as well. So, but at the moment, the tile needs finishing. Well, there it is the sleeping fox. And who it's for is on the front of it if you can read that it's my mate Ron from Scotland up there in Edinburgh and we were talking about this last week and I thought I want to do this because I can't get down to the um, forge in there anyway it's too cold it's freezing in there at the moment it's a right open much much bigger than the one that was in Bali Lands and the fingers will freeze up and uh, the last time I went down there I spent about 
an hour and a half and came out. Couldn't couldn't do it. I was freezing. So and uh I guess I don't want to catch bloody pneumonia in my condition. I'm sitting in my front room and uh messing about and this is what I've been messing about with today. And it's uh as I say thermo cured so I'm gonna have to go and put it in the oven in a minute and then give it a rub down to clean up and um send it off to run. If he wants it. If he doesn't, you can tell me to bugger off tonight. <laughs> All joking apart, this is for Ron. I'm going to give you a quick twirl round, Ron, if I can. The back of it. As you can see. There's the back. Come round to the side. Do it slowly, if I can. Without chucking all my stuff over there. And there. It's a sleeping fox. Sure, right, thanks. Thanks for watching. You hope you like that little well too. We'll catch you later. <laughs>